Dear colleagues, welcome. My name is Michael Trana. I am Professor and Chair of Gastroenterology and Hepatology at the Medical University of Vienna, Austria. I have the pleasure to introduce our upcoming paper entitled Alterations in Lipid Metabolism Mediate Inflammation, Fibrosis and Proliferation in a Mouse Model of Chronic Cholestatic Liver Injury. This work is the result of a multidisciplinary effort between the medical universities of Vienna and Graz. We undertook this study to obtain novel mechanistic insights into the pathogenesis and treatment of chronic inflammatory bile duct diseases, such as primary sclerosis and cholangitis or PSC, which is a deadly disease with poor prognosis and lack of effective medical therapy. Since bile acids are novel players in the regulation of hepatic lipid metabolism, we hypothesized that alterations of lipid metabolism may be associated by cholestasis and could be targeted therapeutically by novel bile acids such as the side chain derivative of orthodeoxycholic acid, namely nororthodeoxycholic acid, which has been shown to be effective and superior to urso in mouse models of cholestasis. We addressed this question using a knockout mouse model, the ABC before knockout mouse, developing morphological features of sclerosis and cholangitis and subjected these animals to a series of therapeutic under interventions before gene expression profiling and metabolomic profiling. Very much to our surprise, we observed profound alterations in the gene expression profiles of genes encoding for hepatic lipid and fatty acid metabolism, in addition to expected changes encoding for inflammation, fibrosis and cellular proliferation. No UDCA was able to rapidly restore these alterations in hepatic gene expression profiles. This also was accompanied by a normalization of reduced levels of serum, cholesterol and phospholipids and reduced hepatic triglyceride levels, which are a typical feature of this animal model. In addition, profiling of fatty acid composition uncovered an increase in potentially toxic short and medium chain fatty acids while long chain fatty acids were reduced in knockout mice. Again, these pathological changes were restored by NeurUDCA, which increased long chain fatty acids and also increased the desaturation index, kind of uh, facilitating the formation and restoration of triglyceride levels and skewing the fatty acid composition to a less toxic profile. Since we observed these abnormalities in fatty acid profiles, we hypothesized that high-fat diet may actually uh, restore these abnormalities in fatty acid profiles and cure liver injury. And exactly this was the case in adult mice, but also in offspring of pregnant mice receiving these high-fat diets. Conversely to these uh, beneficial therapeutic effects of uh, norosidioxycholic acid and high-fat diet, giving a fibrate to the animal model actually aggravated liver injury while deleting the target receptor fibrates PIPA-alpha in double knockout mice actually uh, cured the disease. Together these findings point towards a key role of hepatic fatty acid and triglyceride metabolism in cholestatic liver injury. This is further supported by findings provided in supplementary material of that paper that mice lacking the key metabolic lipase ATGL in liver actually accumulate lipids in cholangiocytes. It will be exciting to see what these changes actually mean for the clinical conditions, whether the metabolic profiles identified in the knockout mouse model may may be useful diagnostic and prognostic signatures and whether no UDCA currently undergoing phase 2 development in humans is able to induce similar alterations in hepatic lipid metabolism in human disease, corresponding diseases such as primary sclerosis and cholangitis. Thank you very much for your attention. I hope uh, this presentation raised uh, your interest in reading the full paper to appear in gastroenterology.